today we played Mario Party Superstars, but I added custom colors and we have special Yoshis playing these mini games. So let's start off with a classic mini game over here, Shy Guy Says. And you might notice that I've changed the colors of quite a few things over here. We are in golden barrels over here. The flags are all different colors. So we can see that the Shy Guy is raising flags like this, but the flags that we have are actually different colors. I added a rainbow rope over here, which I think looks really cool. And the texture on the boat is actually blue. So it was really cool going through all these colors and changing the colors of everything. I really like the way that this turned out. This looks fantastic. Okay, and let's see, how are these guys going to do? Yeah, so no matter what button we press, we always raise this red flag. But this Shy Guy, does he even have any red flags? I don't think he even has any red flags because his left one is blue now and his right one is white, I'm pretty sure. But we have a red one and a green one, so our colors don't even match up. Okay, hopefully we can beat this yellow Yoshi in the yellow barrel. And we did it! We are the winners! Time for Pokey Pubble with our special Yoshis here. And the Pokies, I actually made them purple like this, which is really cool. And I also changed the hammers. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Whoa! That's so much faster than I thought, and the ending was also super slow. What happened there? How was that so fast? Okay, I actually want to do this again just because that last one was so good. Let's see if I could do better. Wait, oh my goodness, that's even lower. Wow, oh my goodness, I can't believe it, wow. All right, that's not bad. All right, so let's just play some tipsy tourney over here. Nice little mini game, but you might be thinking, wait a minute, I haven't seen this image under the crackers that we have to remove before. The only image that I've seen is either a mushroom or a fire flower, but we are actually Rick rolled. How could you Rick roll us over here? Okay, nice, and we did get first in the mini game. Yeah, so in this mini game, the thing that I changed, instead of changing the colors, I actually changed the images that you could see under here. So normally there are three images that you could see. You could see a mushroom, a fire flower, and I think the last one might be a star power up. But yeah, I changed it to Rick Astley from the Rick roll meme. And right now we have a Magikarp and there's one other one. The last one I thought was a really cool one because we are all Yoshis and this one looks like it actually might fit in the game itself because it is a little Yoshi image over here. Okay, now please break those. Very nice. Okay, not my fastest time, but we did still win, which was nice. Winner. So in the minigame Ice Rink Rinse, you have these spinies going around on ice and there's a little spiny icon on the actual ice, but... I changed it so that we have a Paper Mario Bowser over here. And I think this looks so good. Okay, now let's just stay away from these shells. Oh, what if I just bounced on top of the CPUs? That seems like a great way to avoid the shells. Let's go. Come here, my friends. Let me bounce on you, my friends. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, they're over there actually. I'm gonna stay away. I'm gonna stay away. Just let me bounce on you, bro. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, is the third one coming soon? Oh boy, oh boy, there's the third one. Let me move. Please let me move. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Are we all gonna survive? Everyone except for the yellow one? And, wow, almost everyone survived over there. All right, Mushroom Mix-Up on its own is already a pretty difficult mini game, but look at just how tricky it can get when Toad sometimes raises the wrong flag. Like right there, he just raised a purple magenta flag and we have to go up to the yellow one, but sometimes he does raise the correct flag. So that makes it even more tricky. Okay, let's see, where are we going? That is that one, okay, so we wanna get up there. Okay, goodbye red Yoshi, okay. One Yoshi is down, so we're making some progress. Let's see, how are we doing here? Okay, keep flattening us, keep flattening us. Just try us, try us, bro. Okay, purple, where's that? Okay, purple means red. That means we wanna go up to the red over here. Oh, goodbye yellow guy, okay, now there's just two of us. But you know what, keeping your eyes on the Yoshi and seeing where they go is actually a very good hint for where you have to go next. Like, let's see. Oh, oh, that's just the center one. Okay, so we don't have to go anywhere now. Let's see, where are we going, where are we going? I've got to go there. Okay, let's see. Where are we going? Don't squish me, bro. Don't squish me, bro. Okay, that's up there, so that's fine. Bro, I don't want to bounce on you. I don't want to bounce on you. Uh, that's over there. Oh, boy. I didn't know that that was that one. I'm just like, where do we even go? Purple is this one. Okay, I'm sorry. I flattened you, bro. What's next? Where is that? Okay, that is this color because sometimes it is the right flag that he raises. What's next? Okay, that is the center, so that's all right. Let's see, where are you, bro? What color is that? Oh, that's this one. Okay, I was gonna go to the one on the far right, but I saw all the other ones were going down. So we made it over to here. That is such a tough one. All right, so we look like we are in a nice stainless steel tank because I changed the colors of all of the tanks over here. And not only did I change the colors of the tanks, but 
Oh boy, come here, come here, bro. I also added a gradient to these pipes over here. Okay, bro, you're taking off. Bro, you're gone. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, you're still there. Ah, now you're gone, there we go. What a nice victory. So what I changed in this minigame is you'll notice that the Yoshis have different colored crayons right now, and the crayons don't necessarily match the colors of what we are drawing. We can see that I'm at the top. I have a green crayon, but I'm drawing in red. The second Yoshi also has a green crayon. Hold on, I really have to focus here. Okay, yeah, the second Yoshi also has a green crayon, but it's drawing in blue. And the Yoshi that's actually drawing in green doesn't even have a green crayon. Which is kind of funny. Okay, let's see, how's this ending over here looking? All right, this is looking all right. I think we'll get an okay score over here. Let's see what our final score is going to be. What percent do we get? Let's see what our final score is. 95, wow, that's worse than I thought it would be. But it still is just barely a win. All right, let's do Storm Chasers over here. So the characters have different colored pots, and what is even more obvious is that I actually changed the color of the ground over here, because normally this takes place in the desert, which I guess it, this is why water is so scarce, and we really want to get water for our piranha plants, which is why we are chasing around the clouds with our piranha plants in pots over here so that we can get lots of water for our plants. How much water does a piranha plant even need? I guess also in this skateboarding minigame, you're also trying to give your piranha plant lots of water. Oh boy, come here, come here, come here. Oh my goodness, I got like no water at that last end section there. Let's see if we even win. Let's see, how are we gonna do here? Who's grows the biggest? Yeah, we do still win. That's very nice. Poor Blue Yoshi in last place. All right, so let's do the Crazy Cutters minigame over here. We want to go as nicely around this boo as possible. And guys, I need you to let me know in a comment, does this ground, does it look more blue or does it look more purple to you? I need you guys to let me know in a comment because I am really curious to see if more people will say that this looks like blue or it looks like purple. I know that it is in between blue and purple, but I'm really curious if... This looks closer to blue or closer to purple for people. Okay, and that actually looked great. Well, yeah, the hand's a little flat. What's our score? 99! Oh my goodness. How can you be so close to perfect without getting perfect? My goodness. Okay, and there comes the boo, and out it goes. And Yoshi has a nice victory here. Okay, so let's do the chain chomp with the green background over here. So let's just be very careful with these teeth. The teeth... This is, whoa, 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 my hand slipped off the joystick actually, okay. The teeth has to be one of the hardest part. That has to be one of the hardest parts of this. Okay, let's see, how are we doing over here? I actually took my thumb off of the joystick for a second over there. Cause yeah, the thing about the teeth is it's really hard to see where you have to go when you're doing the teeth. So I used to always go clockwise, but this time I tried going counterclockwise cause I think that maybe it'll make the teeth easier. Oh wow, and we actually got a 94 there. So that's not bad for making a pretty big mistake on the teeth and also taking my thumb off the joystick for a moment and there goes the chain jump. And I really like how the ground looks over here with these red cracks. Okay, so let's do the blooper with the green background. This should be one of the hardest ones apparently because this is stage three so the other two stages shouldn't be as difficult. Hopefully we can get an okay score over here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't want my thumb to slip. I do not want my thumb to slip off the joystick. Can't see where we're going now. Just be careful, Yoshi. Okay, that's a good angle. That's looking pretty good over there, Yoshi. You're doing great, Yoshi. Very proud of you, Yoshi. That looks like it turned out okay, except for the top right over there. Let's see. 91. Okay, not perfect. Pretty far from perfect, but good enough for the blooper to come out over here. So here come the cracks and out comes the blooper. I really recommend you watch my video where I added a custom Pokeball map to Mario Party Superstars. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you and take care everybody.